Welcome to FL Studio Mobile 3. In this tutorial, we'll give you a general overview of the application. FL Mobile 3 works on Android, iOS, Windows Phone, Windows App, and as a plugin in FL Studio for the desktop. If you want to try FL Studio Mobile before you buy, you can download the FL Studio 12.3.1 for the PC and test it there. Let's start with the home panel. This is where you can load and save your projects. We've been listening to Circuit by Nucleon. From the settings tab, you can select MIDI controllers, make some settings for the metronome, and particularly useful on mobile devices, there are some audio engine settings to fine tune CPU performance. Next, we have the shop, where you can download and purchase additional content and instruments. If you're upgrading, make sure to register FL Mobile when you see the pop-up. This will appear each time you start the app until you do, and then previously purchased content will be available. And finally, share. This page allows you to send all your project data to any other device on your network, including Wi-Fi, to another installation of FL Mobile. And we have the all-important help button, including the manual, which many will ignore, but if you don't, there's lots of useful information here too. Let's consider the overall interface. We're currently looking at the playlist. Tap the headers to open the track mixer. Tap and hold a track header to open the track settings. Tap again to close. Top left, we have a snap. Deselecting it will allow you to move clips independent of the grid. On again, and dragging will re-snap to grid. For each instrument track, and there are also effects and automation tracks, but for each instrument track, the controller at the bottom changes. From a piano that we can resize, to drums that we can also resize. You can even tap and drag on drum pads to reorder them. Prevent unwanted movement with the lock button on the upper left. The keyboard has a double mode. There's a pitch bend. And a mod control. The icon on the very left opens a large version of the track mixer we saw earlier. Now let's look more closely at instrument tracks. I'll select mini synth and open the channel rack. The rack contains a mini synth instrument being driven by the piano roll data on this track and it's followed by two multi FX pads and an equalizer. At the end of the rack, the plus button allows you to add more effects and even other instruments, all driven by the same track data. You can also choose an output for the track. This one is sent to the master channel, but you can also add custom FX tracks to your project to create submixes. The other main instrument is a drum track. Notice the rack doesn't show a drum instrument at the top. To access the drum instrument, double tap the clip and open the step sequencer. Then tap any drum track headers to access the controls. These include sample controls. You can send individual drum sounds to any FX track. Tap here to load new samples. And finally, the sampler controls for the drum sound, ADSR and all that good envelope stuff. Finally, on the upper left is a swing control. Okay, time to start a new project. I'll explain the basics of making a song. The new song template starts with a drum track and two synth tracks, both mini synth. I'll delete these and start from zero. So now we're left with our master FX channel. All audio from the project will pass through this channel and it's where we can add master FX. Tap the plus button to add an instrument. You can use direct wave, 
which is how you access your custom samples and instruments, MiniSynth, which is a real-time synthesizer, or new for FL Mobile 3 onward, Groove Machine Synth and Transistor Bass. There's the drum channel, and you can add WAV files as tracks. Here is where you can add those FX tracks to create submixes, or create an audio recording track for either internal or external audio. Let's start with the drum track. I'll choose the FL Basic Kit and add four kicks. Extend a clip by tapping and dragging the handle. I'll set two bars, repeating this one bar loop. Next, hats. There's also a swing control as we saw earlier. On the lower edge, drag up on this control to access velocity. Pan. And pitch. Now let's add an effect. I'll select a delay. Done. Next I'll add an instrument. Mini synth. I'll select the bass sound. Tapping horizontally will allow you to preview pitches. Tap off the menu to close the preview. Double tap the clip to open the piano roll. Let's single tap in some notes. You can tap the keyboard to preview. Tap a note to open its edit controls. I'll long tap on the piano roll until a selection box appears. Then I can drag and make a selection. Tap and drag the selection to move it. OK, let's copy these. Then long tap where you want to paste and release. Like the step sequencer, this control on the lower edge drags up to reveal the velocity controls. Again, we have snap here, so we can drag notes off the grid. Useful, the last tap note allows you to quickly change note lengths you add to match those that already exist. Okay, we're almost done, but some final touches. We could add some effects to our master track, such as a limiter. You 
You may also want to change the tempo of your project. Or access the metronome for example. That's important for recording. So rather than manually editing in notes, of course you can record them. Let's do that. I'll select my bass track and delete the existing clip. Next, arm for record, and notice the playhead turns red. And as a reminder, on the settings tab, you can control the count in and metronome volume. Let's go. Cool. Double tap the clip to open the piano roll and let's fix my sloppy timing with the snap option available on the note selection. And I forgot to turn off the metronome. We are super excited to announce FL Studio Mobile as a native FL Studio plugin. You can bring your mobile projects into FL Studio from the Android, iOS, Windows app, and yes, even Windows Phone version, and take it to the next level. FL Studio Mobile is now your door within a door, and it's identical to the mobile version. No translations necessary. And with our own sync function, you can transfer your projects and data via your network, including Wi-Fi, from your mobile devices to FL Studio instantly. With that, I hope you now have some idea of the power of FL Studio Mobile 3. Enjoy. Enjoy.